All right, I'm Matt here with Tools today. We are going to do a Battle of the Brushless Impact Wrench test against the DeWalt, Milwaukee, Hilti, and Ryobi. All these are mid-range impact wrenches, and so let's just look at the specs and get to it. One eight-inch by half-inch lag, one ten-inch by half-inch lag. All right, so first let's do the Milwaukee three amp hour high output battery. Battery is full. It is on speed three. I think that's time. Nope, a little bit more. I prematurely stopped. I think that's that's time. All right, we'll take a look at the battery. That's a battery at three bars. Based on low amp hours, we might end it with a 10 inch lag. We might skip the this one, do this one in a different video with higher amp hour batteries. All right, let's take this out. All right, next, let's do the Ryobi. Oh, sorry, battery is full. It's on speed three. I think that's up oh, a tad bit more. Time. I could hear that sizzling. Oh, let's take it out. Time. Bad, well, battery life is at three bars after that. All right, next, let's do the Hilti. It is on speed two. I believe that's all it has is two speeds. Yep, and the battery is full. Remember the Milwaukee and Ryobi are at three amp hours and the DeWalt and Hilti are at four amp hours. Is that time? Nope, not yet. A little bit more. I think that's time. All right, guys, just adjusted the camera for the lighting. Now right, let's take Hilti's out. All right, so for the DeWalt's, we are gonna do the four amp hour with 21700 cells and the 1.7 amp hour uh, power stack batteries. So let's do both of these and see what they can do. Is that it? A little bit more. Sorry about that. Done. And the battery on the 4 amp hour is still full. Yeah, th this is better positioning right here. All right, so let's take it out. time all right so now let's do the power stack battery is full on the power stack i'm actually completely curious on how well that's going to do
think that, nope, a little bit more, my bad. Time. Nope, a little bit more. All right, that's time. All right, let's take it out. See, that power stack battery isn't bad. Uh, it's at two bars, but it might go back up in a few minutes. The battery on the Milwaukee is at three bars. Yeah, we're just gonna do one more test. We're gonna do the 10 inch lag. that time a little bit more but as you can see this test seriously puts so much stress on the motor i think that's time that's time all right so let's take it out Time. Yeah, that's the last test we're gonna do for each tool. Yeah, like this, these tests are extreme. All right, next let's do the Ryobi. Battery is at three bars. Speed three. I think, I think that's time. T -t Smidge more. And that is time. All right, let's take it out. Time. All right, guys, I just want to very quickly explain that is why I wanted the three amp hour battery on this Ryobi mid-range impact wrench, because I already did a full video of between these two with these batteries and the Ryobi actually beat the Milwaukee. So for once, I seriously want Ryobi to be up there in fairness when it comes to the much more powerful uh, tool brands. Like I said, this is not the only video. You don't need to blow up comments. We will be doing another higher amp hour test in the future. So please subscribe to the channel for that. Next, let's do Hilti Neuron. It's on speed two, battery is full still. Is that time? Let go. Nope, a little bit more. I think there's too much. Uh... Yep, that's time. Perfect. That is time.
time. Not too shabby. All right, so let's do the DeWalt with a four amp hour battery. It's on high. See if that did it. Nope, needs a little bit more. Oh, that socket is hot. <coughs> Battery on the four amp hour has two bars still. Let's see. Yep, that's time. It did it. That is time. All right, let's take it out. All right, so I'm going to declare that a fail. But before we do move on to another tool to try to take it out, let's try the power stack. Let's see if the power stack can take that out. Nope, it cannot. Oh, that socket is hot. All right, let's try the Ryobi. Let's see if the Ryobi can take that out. That's, uh, that's actually not surprising because this Ryobi has this Ryobi with this battery has proven itself, so I'm not really surprised about that. It's the power stack is at two bars still. Let's see in how well it does with a 10 inch lag. Give that a break for a second, because after all, it is a 1.7 amp hour battery. This battery is probably almost drained, but I want to work it till it's actually not working anymore. Give that a break for a minute. Let's continue. Let's see if that's, nope, not yet. Yeah, like, so, so, yeah, this, 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 uh, let's do a temperature reading on that. That's gotta be hot. 230 degrees that socket is. 230 degrees. So yeah, like like I said, this uh, these Tac Life impact created sockets are actually good, and I've been using this for years. And, but as you can see, it uh, that the detent pin in there is is the detent pin is uh, actually stuck in position. All right, so let's see if this can finish it. It might be, that's time. It did it, it finished it. It finished it. Let's see if it has the power to take it out. Oh, it, the battery gave out. All right, I, let's, let's, let's continue. All right, let's take the battery out, put it back in. Let's see if that will do it. It's almost done. Like it, it's not gonna take barely any power to take this out. All right, guys, it, it almost did it. It almost, yeah, now it's not, battery is completely drained. Not bad for not bad for a 1.7 amp hour battery. That's not bad at all, you guys. So let's just take that out. Not bad for the one, guys gotta give that 1.7 amp hour props. It almost did it. It almost did it.
I don't know the test results until I edit the video, but all four of these are actually very powerful impact wrenches. And so whatever platform you're in, you know, I do suggest you guys pick one of these up. And like I said, Hilti did give me a high range impact wrench, a video on this coming soon. And they, uh, I'm hoping Torque Test Channel uploads his video soon about the two brand new Hilti impact wrenches. But both, all four of these are actually very powerful impact wrenches. More tests with this Hilti is coming up because I want to do, I want to see what this one is like with different batteries and to see if it actually performs better with an eight amp hour and a 12 amp hour. So these, we've done videos on these ones already. And so this is Hilti's first one, not too shabby. Like I said, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be not notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.